DEI is taking more and more hits as time progresses and as people are starting to awaken and voicing their opinions. And each next hit is being more and more heavy and hard hitting and just exposing more and more of just how evil and corrupt and absolutely destructive that whole narrative is. And I think we just got a nuke on that narrative and it comes by none other than Elon Musk of all people who has expressed his views on how, why DEI is destroying art. If you remember this tweet from Elon Musk which was in response to Ian Mao's uh, on May 24, Elon Musk just said DEI kills art and he was very right and it caused a massive massive backlash and a lot of commentary on why he's saying these things how dare he says these things there were a lot of attacks on what he said a lot of people were angry but a lot more people just said yeah this is actually true and it's coming from someone very influential in almost every aspect of the online industry. And two days ago, he wrote it again by quoting Autism Capital, who have a clip on of him, I think it's on a Trump rally, and he was asked a question by this dude over here, and I just, I'm just gonna play the clip because I think we need to see him. So, I was wondering, with, with reason flops like... Uh, Make video games great again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, recent flops like Concord and Dustborn, games are prioritizing pronouns and things like that. That's annoying. Gameplay, yeah. Um, so I was wondering, have you ever thought about making your own gaming studio and making an impact in the industry? Ooh. You know, uh, if, if there's one thing I could say that, that would be a fun thing to do. That's a, that's an actually an excellent question because he, uh, Elon Musk has been dipping his fingers into pretty much everything uh, for a long time now and he has a lot of different businesses and he has expressed interest in just going in a lot of different directions with Tesla, with SpaceX, with that uh, not a flamethrower, with uh, the, now the Optimus robots and let's see what he has to say. It would be to uh, start a gaming studio. Um, so I do, I do actually intrinsically love video games. Um, and I think actually if you apply sort of AI to video games, you could really make it to some incredible, make, make incredible video games. Um, Agreed. So yeah, I think just generally for, cr for, for content, in, you know, it, it, the, pr the problem with like the sort of DEI and the woke mind virus is that it, it kills the art. You know, yeah. it's, it's just a, like as soon as, when, when you can see something that is forcibly imposed uh, on the story and it's, it's discordant, it destroys the art, and 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 now you, mm. it's hard <laughs> to enjoy the story. It kicks you out of the story, because you you can just feel that you're being lectured. Exactly, you're being lectured. I'm not gonna watch the rest of the clip because I think this this is precisely what he gets to but being lectured is exactly what everyone has been talking about because in every dei infused games you have been led to like you, you have been shown that you have to feel some sort of shame or just to follow the narrative and telling you what's right and what's not in the real world and not in the world of that game it basically trespasses the laws and the narrative that are in the game and the world that you're playing in and tries to infuse them with real life politics, beliefs, opinions, and so on, and just try to make them pivotal to be the good thing in that game and basically remove any sense of escape that you have when you're playing a video game or even when you're watching a TV series or a movie. And I think that Elon Musk said it very, very good that uh, it, it, it does kill the art because making a video game or making a TV series or making a movie is basically creating your own world of assaults and that world should reflect uh, what you want to say and if you want to say all those politically uh, polarizing things in that world you have every right to, of course but in the same time you have to be prepared that uh, a lot of people are not going to like that because they don't want more and more of the real world they want an escape from the real world and even e e even if you're 
politically charged to bring all one side or another or a third. You just need an escape to not think about those things that you think about every day. And he said it very well. And I think that he might actually make his own game studio, especially after that rally, because I don't think that he was asked that question before. And if he's asked and he starts thinking about it, his brain... I, in my view, what I've seen from Elon Musk, his brain just starts spinning. He starts creating the idea and he goes and he does it. And he, he might just make a game studio, which would be pretty awesome, by the way. He's going to make some outrageous stuff on that. That Park Place also covered that story of Elon Musk. And the interesting thing that I saw there that is that, let me just scroll down, is that it apparently it echoes what... Uh, Tolkien said about in his old fairy stories essay that he noted that the story maker maker sorry is proven a successful sub creator when he makes a secondary world which your mind can enter inside it what he relates is true it accords with the laws of that world you therefore believe it while you are as it were inside exactly that's why we love video games so much i think video games in particular are exactly the final frontier of what your imagination can make when you have books you're basically hallucinating while flipping paper which is amazing because you you could do that and you can imagine the world in your sense in, in your view then came the movies and then you see that either your vision of what you thought that the world and the characters look like are represented well in the movie that you're seeing or in the TV series. And when it comes to games, then you have the biggest freedom that you can actually uh, have in such, a, in, in such an aspect. You can create your character in a lot of cases, or you can make the character that you're playing do whatever you like and progress in the story in a way that you wanted to progress, not in a way that was written in a book. And usually that's the best thing because you can create your own ending to a story, so to speak. And having DEI and uh, the woke narrative and Sweet Baby Inc. and all those companies that are trying to control the narrative, impose their views on games and change the games and ruin the games as they're doing now with Dragon Age of Elgard, as they did with the Tales of Kenzara Zhao, I think I'm pronouncing that name correctly, and just continuing to basically bring companies to the ground. I think that what Elon Musk did is a very, very strong kickback to those companies because his influence alone is strong enough to basically change a lot of stuff directly and him saying that and him supporting that will get a lot of important people to rethink their positions and maybe just maybe start to communicate with their audience and their customers a bit more in order to save their companies and possibly rise up again as once great titans of media creation. I don't know if it will have such a great uh, outpour and such a great effect, but I I will see, and I do hope that we do, and 2025 begins, continues, and ends as a better year for gaming than 2024's abysmal history already. Anyways, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, press the like and subscribe button and the join button to join the disgusting enthusiast and help me directly grow and slowly make YouTube my main source of living. If you're interested in helping homeless animals and animals in shelters, I want to recommend you to go to my Patreon, where I raise money for that cause, and I help local and non-local shelters and charity organizations with those money. Follow me on my socials, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, I have been Helso, this was disgusting, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, and stay fresh.